Hey guys, Dorf Raven 2012 here, and I'll be playing the Resident Evil 2 one shot demo this time around on the PC using NVIDIA's GeForce Now streaming service, which is still in beta, by the way. So, if you guys don't know what the service is, it basically lets you stream off the latest games off your Steam library off of their servers onto your desktop computer. So, if you have an outdated computer and it doesn't run certain games, you can just use their service, which is still in beta right now, right now, to stream the latest games on your computer and actually get to play them. So in this case, I'm trying out the demo here for Resident Evil 2 right now, just to see how well it runs. I mean, the menu right now is showing, you know, 56 to 60 FPS. I hope those numbers stay well, you know, in-game, but this is running at 4K, everything to the max. As you guys can see here, we got everything cranked up and turned on, so this is as good as the game's going to look. Now, let's hope the performance is the same way. Again... The streaming service is still in beta, so it's not quite perfect. I do notice some slight input lag with uh, the mouse cores are here, so let's see how much it will actually affect us uh, during the game. But let's jump straight into this. Checking network connection. Uh, the final game, yeah, alright, we got that. Our load times are definitely much faster than they are compared to the PS4. So, well, aka PS4 Pro. Yeah, this is loaded real fast, so they're definitely running this on an SSD, without a doubt. And, uh, what is it? Frame rate's at 40, uh, 38, 40 frames per second. Hello? Is anybody here? Yeah, it's between, alright, 32, 30, 36. Alright, so. The game, you know, max settings between, you know, 30, 40 frames per second here. Not quite ideal for this game, so it's, you know, lower the resolution. So 4K, I mean, 4K is obviously playable. If I, you know, actually I can just block the frame rate to 30. Let's do that. Frame rate 30. Now that should be a lock. Alright, return the game. Because, there we go. Locked 30 frames per second, 4K max settings. That is much better. And the game looks great. I mean, damn. 4K max settings. Now, I mean, I'm pretty sure we could lock, get this game locked at 60 FPS here. Let's try that out at 1080p, though. Still not bad. If you want to play this game at 4K, you know, with a locked 30 frames per second, I mean, it seems to work just fine with uh, the service here. Yes. Uh, whoop. Let's bump the frame rate back up to 60. There you go. There we go. So, max settings 1080p, 60. And it seems to be locked too, so awesome. Now we get some nice little space reflections here. Some beautiful lighting. All right. Anyway, let's move on. It was a weird point this with a mouse and keyboard. I haven't played a game with a mouse and keyboard for quite a while because you know my graphics card dying on me on my computer, sadly. So you know, run this off of uh, the streaming service here is pretty neat. Good. You know the uh, hmm, the input lag is actually not bad. I mean, it, it's there, but it's honestly not bad. Now, I wouldn't say I would like to, you know, as it is right now, play this uh, in a competitive game. But you know, for you know, single player games, cop games, yeah, I, that's absolutely fine. So so far, I'm quite impressed with the service, and you know, image quality is just. Superb. No complaints there in the moment. Definitely much better than PlayStation Now. Ah, 
out, so he puts away his little flashlight. If you turn the lights on, interesting. Oh, this guy has some handgun ammo, we'll take that. Anything else around here? Guess not. I guess the ammo there is all it's there. Yeah, if you put the flashlight away, well, you see some like nice uh, light reflections coming from the door there. Now, the one thing I do like to uh, like, that I personally want to see with the streaming service is Origin getting added because I do want to see how well Star Wars: The Old Republic runs on it. Because it's been an MMO that I've been playing for like five years. And, you know, since my graphics card kind of died on me, uh, <laughs> I haven't been really playing it anymore. I've been pretty much just playing games on the PS4 Pro. But, yeah, look at those reflections. You get some really nice reflections here in the water and all that. Like, this is amazing. Like, if NVIDIA can just, you know, improve the input latency, where it's, like, you know, almost one-to-one, -one, this service would probably be perfect. But, so far, it's very impressive. Like, just getting their games to run at max settings like this, and looking this great. Huh. Alright, we're throwing that in there. Yep. That would explain why this bathroom is flooded. I mean, the hallway is flooded. And the bathroom, of course. Coming. I'll get you out. Please, come here, help me. I got you. Give me your other hand. We've already seen this when I was going for this that one time. But yeah. Kind of curious to see how the um, little gore is here on max settings. Oh, sir. Stand back. I said stand back, sir. Oh, wow, miss. There we go. I wonder if he's dead. You never know if he's undead, guys. Oh, hello. Don't do it, sir. You have the right to remain silent. Oh, there goes your eyeball. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, you almost got me there, but only almost. Oh, wait a minute. Is there a door? Oh, hello. Um. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, I say, let's get out of here. Oh, hello. Well, as you guys can tell here, still locked at 60 frames per second, max settings 1080p. I mean, I'm very impressed with the streaming service so far. You're safe. For now. Thanks. 
Yeah, that looks quite painful. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another off I could I could Yeah. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. We got our combat knife. Well, how do you quick switch on the PC? Oh, it's the numpad. All right. Um. No. Oh, why can I combine a knife? Um. No. I wanna... No. No. There we go. No, we're not. Uh, you could tell I don't play much on the PC. Oh, there you go. Shortcut. On. Oh, gotcha. Never mind. Never mind. That was kind of a blah moment. Wasn't sure if I had to actually put that on the shortcut or not. Guess I don't. This is not how I imagined my first day. Let's combine that. Let me pick that up. Some more ammo. Combine, of course. Hello. So. Now we can enjoy this glorious scene here. In max settings. Hmm. Oh, yummy. I'll not knock him down, but if I oh, do that, ooh, yeah, that splits straight in half. 
See, this time around, I'm actually enjoying the demo quite a bit more because I'm actually taking my time with it. Alright, that's locked. Requires the green key. Oh crap. Ooh. Now that popped like a balloon. I do love how the rain's actually pouring in. You can actually see it slightly and you actually see it like hit the ground here. That looks just amazing. Like this is definitely like one of the most beautiful games to be released here. Starting 2019 off strong. We're definitely picking that up for that shotgun. That's just a note. Oh, and I think my friend found some ammo over here when he was going through this. Oh, yes, he did. Honestly, this is definitely an enjoyable way to play uh, Resident Evil 2's uh, demo. Like, the streaming service is excellent. Uh, I'm not sure if this guy gets back up or not. Probably does. Alright. He doesn't get back up. Am I aiming at his head? Just want to make sure I like get rid of his head there. Don't want him to get back up. All right, that zombie's still down there. All right, good, good, good. Ah, uh, sleeds. Uh, okay, does this seat anywhere? Nope, that's locked. I think I can go in here. Yep. What do we got here? We got some gunpowder. We'll take that. And, uh, oh, the use of gunpowder. Two of them create handgun ammo, gunpowder and high-grade gunpowder, shotgun shells, and all right, all right, gotcha. Ah, uh, I saw you get up. Um. All right, those are four. Was it four or five shots to the head? And now he's. Ah, uh, he's not coming back up. Definitely not coming back after that. Like, I wonder how precise or like where you gotta aim exactly to, you know, get their heads to pop like a balloon. But yeah, he's definitely not getting back up. Ah, uh, I think... Oh, what was that? Up, oh, his head popped like a balloon also. Hmm. Alright, we're not going through there. Oh, hello. Guess we had enough of that. Alright, we'll 
Stalkers. Uh, I think Jack was able to open up 106 and 109. And that undead guy is still alive. Alright, that's open. And 109. So I think this one had the film in it. Or is that gun gunpowder? No, that's film. Which we don't need, because, you know, what's the point of saving? Alright, we're using that. Hello, shotgun. You're Definitely coming in my inventory. Can I just... Yes, I can. I can just use the mouse wheel. That is perfect. I don't know what that one guy was talking about where he said, oh, this is a console port. Yeah, it might be a bit of a console port, but it's a damn good console port. It runs great, looks great, controls are great. How are you still alive, sir? What the hell? Yeah, we're just gonna ignore you. We'll use that to barricade um, the window here. There we go. Uh, got a little bit of peace and quiet from him. Can I combine this right from the get-go? Yes, I can. Ba-bam! Nothing in here. Don't need to use that typewriter. Can I check? Oh, yes, I can. What we got here? Gunpowder. Alright, let's mix those up and create some more bullets. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Combine. Perfecto. Oh, look, more bullets. More bullets to have fun with. Here we got a red herb. Can I combine that right now? Nope. Guess we'll I'll just carry that. Ah. Uh, you don't want that fill me up. Alright, I'm sure this zombie's right in front of the door here, isn't he? Hmm. Nah, he's just chilling over there. We'll leave him be. Now this is the zombie Jack was talking about. Son of a bitch! No, 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 Leon. Language. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no, 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 you don't. Shit. Can I have my knife back? Thank you. Uh, we're not going for there anytime soon. Oh, Lord in heaven. Man, that made me jump. Oh, God. That definitely made me jump. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, man. Whew. Stupid jump scares. Hey, another red herb. Of course, you can't combine those. Well, don't need them. Please stay down. Let's see here, some more ammo. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Picking that up. Just out of curiosity, like if I, you know, try to carry inventory full. Alright, uh, if I drop something, is it permanently gone or. Oh, discard. Yeah, that's more likely. Discard items cannot be recovered. Oh, I hate that. What a shame. So it's definitely like the old school Resident Evil games. Mm. It's kind of hoping it to be more like Alperic, where it, well, it, it'll just lay in the ground so you can pick it up later, or someone what? else could pick it up. Uh, I think this was gunpowder. Yes, it was, but I don't have. Oh, no, I don't have space to carry it. Whoa. Okay. All right, you're definitely dead. I was just making sure. C4. Uh, okay. Ha, ah, now I can carry more stuff. I'm just waiting for them to grab me. No? Alright, cool. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. Is he gonna get back up? I'm not quite sure. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, what? Oh, she's not getting back up after that. Did my gun just kick her? That's, that's rude. After you shot her head off. Excuse me, sir. Eat this. Oh, he's not getting back up either. Anybody else that wants to, uh, you know, taste the rainbow? He doesn't want to taste it. You, sir? You don't want to taste it? No one wants to taste it. You, sir? Oh, yep. He wants to taste the rainbow. Ooh. Since it's basically the end of the demo, I might as well have some fun. I think we just split them in half. Yes, we definitely split them in half. Um, that didn't register for some reason. Hmm. Okay, those shots aren't registering. Weird. What about you, sir? There you go. Alright. That definitely... It looks sick, but it just looks so good. She'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. <laughs> huh? And that is it for the Resident Evil 2 one-shot demo. So, as you guys can see here through the top left corner here, the game ran super smooth at 1080p max settings with NVIDIA's GeForce Now, which is still in beta. I mean, they can obviously still improve it. 
And at 4K, you can definitely get a max settings 4K experience at 30 frames per second, or probably 60 if you just lower some of the settings. It just depends if you want to, you know, experience it at max settings at 4K at 30, or, you know, lower it and experience it at 4K 60. But I'm sure when they do decide to improve the hardware even more, you could probably get that 60 lock at 4K max settings. But yeah, overall, I'm very impressed with NVIDIA's GeForce Now's streaming service. They just got to address the slight input lag that is definitely noticeable. But other than that, I am very impressed. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.